the warrior monk has some warrior armor now. Nice. I hope Martin knows what he's doing with that evil book. I fear for what it could do to him if he's not careful. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, he told me about a spy problem you had. Are you infiltrating as spies, or are you concerned about there being spies here? Ah, yes. I hope you can help. The gate guards have reported seeing strangers on the road for the past several nights. I cannot leave Cloud Ruler undefended while my men search the whole mountainside, but these spies must be eliminated. Ah, they're doing reconnaissance. I thought they had infiltrated the place. Okay, I will find these spies and execute them. Thank you. Talk to Stefan. He can tell you where he has seen them. Stefan, all right. Captain Bird in Bruma may also be able to help. I've asked the Countess to have the guard keep an eye out for strangers. All right, I'll go. Track down the spies and kill them. Find out what they know and what they're planning, if possible. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, Barris, uh, he helped me out, and then he died in the sewers. A very dishonorable death. He served with honor. No blade could ask for higher praise. <laughs> yes. It's a shame what happened to him, being uh, killed by cultists, and definitely not, not me or anything. By the way, don't examine his body. Um, or do. I, I guess those cultists have thunder magic, too. I'm counting on you to eliminate those spies. We can't afford to let the Mythic Dawn operate out of Bruma with impunity. No, definitely. We need to kill all Mythic Dawn, because they killed your friend, Barius. And so, that just proves how evil they are. Also the Emperor. They killed the Emperor. Uh, you, Steffi. Wake up, Steffi. What can I do for you, sir? A little too close, but uh, tell me about these spies. We always see them near the runestone at dusk. They aren't too woodcrafty, but Grandmaster Joffrey has forbidden us to range too far from the walls. I'm not restricted as such. May your real spirit guide us in these troubled times. Yep, yep. I'll feel better when you've eliminated those spies. There's no telling what they may be planning. I'm on it. Yes, I'm actually leaving right out of deal with that. See you in a moment. Aha, uh -huh, what is this? A stone stirs under my hand. Do I see its conjured weapon and armor? Sure, why not? Ooh! What is this? Wow, that's my armor. <laughs> Just a couple of gauntlets. I mean, the dagger's pretty dang cool. Neat! Alright. I guess Stefan did say they appeared at dusk, not during the day. So I guess we're gonna have to have a stakeout. It's time for a stakeout, guys! Yeah, time for a fun little stakeout. Uh, uh. Ha-ha! The ambush was a success! Hooray! The mythic dawn agent named Jirol is dead. I should continue to search for other spies and locate their base of Bruma. Let's see what kind of items you had. I found a basement key, perhaps for the mythic dawn agent's base in Bruma. Captain Bird may be able to provide some information about the suspicious activity. Yes. All right, and you're ready to go. So am I. Let's get out of here. Hey, uh, Bird. Good to see you. Yo, Bird. I'm Captain Bird, commander of the Bruma Guard. What's the word, Bird? Tell me about these spies. Except for Gerald coming back from a trip down south, things are pretty quiet. Not much travel right now with the Oblivion Crisis. Oh, I fixed that. I've told my men to keep a sharp eye out, but I've had no reports of any strangers in town. Probably because I murdered What about you? Turned up anything suspicious? Yes, let me finish next time. Yurl was a Mythic Dawn agent. Bird is the word. Yes, yes, it's a funny joke, but I beat you to it. Ha ha. God's blood. So she was the spy? <laughs> Seems there's no one you can trust these days. Since you're working with Cloud Ruler Temple, I'm going to authorize you to search Jarl's house. I'll pass the word to my men. We won't interfere. Okay, thank you. Be seeing you. Bird, 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 bird. Bird was the word. Bird, 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 bird. Bird was the word. Ah, oh, don't you know about Captain Bird? Well, everybody knows that he's leading Bird. Is there any fat in this outfit? Yeah, shut up, fatty. I see you are with the gray fox. Do you need a fence? Ah, <laughs> don't we all? Tell me about your town. Bruma is a perfect town for a Nord man of leisure. Cool. Poor Arnora. Seems her boyfriend Jorunder has stolen some gold from her and left her penniless. Now he's in jail and she's destitute. That sounds terrible. Arnora. Oh, maybe I can go talk to her and help her out. Who's Jorund? Arnora and Jorunder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. 
I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. Hmm. May he was going to skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Okay, maybe I can look into this. A little side quest for my side quest. Tell me about the strangers in town. Well, since I like you, I think there's somebody staying with Gerald. Not anymore, he's dead. Never seen him. But I've heard her talking to someone, and I've seen somebody at the window when Jurel wasn't home. Mm, probably the contact. None of my business. But since you asked... Hmm. All right. I might be able to make use of that information. Thank you. Okay, uh, we'll come back and deal with that quest, because it sounds like Anora could really use some assistance. It sounds like everyone's left her out to dry, and maybe someone like us could help her out. But first things first, let's take out the last of the spies. Good day. I'm Tolgan, herald to Countess Narina Cardane here in Bruma. <laughs> yeah. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. Oh, the Countess wants us, huh? What's this in res in regards to? Countess Carvane would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. Okay, put this on my to-do list, all right? Once I've finished destroying the spies, I will help the prisoner Honora and then go see the Countess, all right? Uh, speaking of which, have you noticed any strangers in town? Not that I can think of. People are mostly staying home. What with all the troubles in the world. Yeah, self-quarantining. I can understand that. Safe journey, my lord. This might be interesting. Let's go and see the countess immediately. Alternatively, let's not do that immediately and do that later. Because we're in the middle of a couple of things. Uh, so, the spies, yes. Yurl's house, yes. Yeah, this will probably take us to where we need to be. Uh, a secret passage to Yarl's basement. Ah, oh, but it's average locked. Damn. I'm not good with average locks. But I also picked up a key, so maybe... Oh, yeah. Maybe the key will open it. So what's down here? Ooh. Mythic Dawn commentaries. Uh, yep, yep. That's the book, all right. And Yarl's orders. The Master was pleased to hear of your activities outside of Choral. The more gates that we open, the nearer we are to the glorious cleansing. The Master has chosen you and... To vary for a critical, cru crucial mission, a sign of your advancements, blah, blah, blah. We have learned that the Septim Air has gone to the Cloud Ruler Temple, the Lair of Accursed Blade. They're talking about our friend, Melvin. The Master has made it dis destruction the top priority of the Order. Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, Lord Dagon has committed whatever resources are required. Pending your report on the Septim's activities at Cloud Ruler Temple, blah, 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 blah. we plan to open a great gate in the open ground before Bruma as soon as possible. That's not good. Do not in any way compromise your cover in defense of these gates. New ones can be quickly and easily reopened. And once the Great Gate is opened, the fall of Bruma is assured. The Cloud Ruler Temple cannot stand long after that, and the Septim will be caught like a rat in a trap. This is all very bad news. Okay, that's probably important. We should probably follow up on that. You think? Yeah, definitely. <sighs> I ran to the back of the Cloud Ruler Temple as fast as I could. I didn't even bring my horse. I was in too much of a rush. I left him behind. I just sprinted here as quickly as I could. Although getting that horse would have been faster, definitely. What have you learned about the spies? They're going to open a portal! Here, read this. This makes for grim reading. The mythic dawn did not take long to locate Martin again. The document speaks of two agents. You need to eliminate both of them. Then I'm half done. What? You think you can beat me? Go ahead. Oh, what a coincidence! There's a spy here. All I had to do was wait for the second spy to show up at the exact same spot. <laughs> like clockwork. You idiot. Well, that was easy enough. Let's go report our success. What have you learned about the spies? I learned that they're no longer breathing because they're dead. Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The gods did not idly choose you as their agent, whatever you may think. But we have not eliminated the threat against Bruma and Cloud Ruler Temple, only delayed it. I will warn the Countess of the danger. I will send word to the Countess at once of the danger to Bruma. Oh, the Countess. You should speak to Martin about his progress with the Xarxes. Right, 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 right. Um, before we do that... Maybe we could catch a mud crab? Are you doing okay there, chat dog? You seem to be having some problems. Uh, speaking to the Countess, yes, we, we should probably go talk to the Countess about her problems. But first, 
before we do any of that, before we follow up with Martin, before we talk to the Countess, let's go talk to Aurora in the jail and see if we can help out the common civilians. We, they should not be dropped to the bottom of the list just because they're not as important as the Emperor or the Countess. You know, ordinary people, prisoners, are people too. So let's go talk to Arnora. Hello. Can't you see that I'm upset? Uh, I, I couldn't because you were asleep and facing the other way. I heard about what happened to you in Jorunder. Our affairs are none of your business. I don't know who you are, and you think I'm going to talk to you about my ex-lover? I'm a problem solver. I wanted to help you out. Come on. I suppose I can trust you with this information. After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. Oh? I know what you've heard all about Jorunda and his run-in with the town guard. Well, let's just say it isn't exactly all true. Give me the deets. I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me. Until you agree to my scheme, I don't want to say more. I agree. All I can promise is that you'll be making a lot of money. Are you in or are you out? I do like money. Tell me more. Smart answer. Here's the deal. Jorunda and I have had a rocky relationship at best. Against my will, I've been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. You're better than that. I wouldn't say we're thieves. I mean, we've stolen things, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. Just enough to keep us going. One of us got greedy. That is until last year. Jorunda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just lone merchants, mind you. Oh, no, that was fair. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. I think the goal changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, he'd strike me or push me away. I began to become frightened of him. I can see why you would betray him then. So where do I come in? Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. Can't believe it. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. Oh no, you're breathing it right now. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. They follow your footprints. I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it! <laughs> what I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is, and then we split it. I see. I was going to steal his gold while he was in jail, but before he got arrested, he had already moved the gold. He was planning to screw me over, and that stopped my plans of screwing him over. But now we can both screw him over together, as long as you don't screw me over. And you would never do such a thing, would you? No, I'd never do that. He's not likely to just come out and tell you, so get creative. Yes, yes. And I'll definitely come back here, because uh, you rightfully earned Who that. Who does he think he is? Acting all high and mighty. Who do both of them think they are? They both think they're better than the other, but they're both pretty terrible. Hello. How goes it? Good, good. Yes? I'd like to visit a prisoner, please. What a bother. Don't be too long about it. I got to stay with you, so there isn't any funny business. Uh, he's gonna tell me where some gold is if you keep it quiet. No touching the locks. Okay, Jesus. Prisoners may not accept gifts. Got it. Yo, what's up, naked man? I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. Uh, tell me about the stolen gold that you definitely stole, you stole you, you, you thief. I'm not talking to you about anything. You're an outsider. I bet you're trying to trick me into telling something and the guards put you up to it. That fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. What if we played the Go face ahead. game? Not bad. <laughs> that never. Not now. No more. Even the face game didn't work on him. I'm out of options here. Damn, what do I do now? Prisoners may not accept gifts. I heard you the first 12 times. 
Jaruna refused to speak to me. He said that it, he doesn't talk to outsiders. Thank you for referring to the fact that I'm not a prisoner. It sounds like the only way to get him to talk is by getting arrested. Oh, okay. I have a message from your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. What happened? No, come on. One of the characters needed to complete this quest has died. Awesome. You're not going to arrest me? Prisoners may not accept gifts. See, you're not going to arrest me for doing that? I, I can just walk no into the... No touching the locks. I can just walk into the... Yeah, okay, yeah. No touching the locks, no giving the prisoners anything besides death. Is that the thing? Okay, yeah. We're done here. I guess we're just done here. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. By the Stop! You violated the law. I guess I'll go to jail. What option do I have? I, I certainly can't pay my fine. 40 gold? That's beyond me. Hope you rot, criminal scum. Oh no, all of my possessions have been confiscated by the guards. That makes me sad. Uh, well, here I am. Just like you. You've got nothing to lose. So why not just tell me and save us both a heap of trouble? Yeah, sure. And I suppose I just end up rotting while you spend it all? <laughs> Forget it. You're gonna end up rotting here anyway. Idiot. Look, you horse's ass. I never trusted city guardsmen. Never. So I'm definitely not going to start trusting you, Torellius. Suit yourself. Enjoy your stay. But you know who you can trust? The elf. Yeah, you having difficulty uh, reading your books in here? Well, a little light would help you out with that. Yeah, what do you say to your friend Mike the Elf who helps you read your books? By the way, the guards tossed you in here. I can see you're no friend of theirs. Never. I've never been a friend of theirs. So about that stolen gold. I suppose I can trust you. In fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem and make some money for yourself in the process. Oh, I do like money. I'm in here for the long haul. They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. And once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. Oh. I owe all of this to that heartless, treacherous witch, Ornora. What did Ornora do to you? You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I was betrayed, stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Ornora's out there living in my house. I have a tendency to believe you. Ah, uh, we were doing petty crimes all over Cyrodiil. Small scores. Ten gold here, twenty-five there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate you. Mm-hmm. Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious gold, complete with armed escorts. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. And everything was a success. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knock them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. We? Then she disappears to get supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. There's no way they could have found us. Oh, well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge. Or was it? Hmm. Huh. Your story seems a bit more believable. Although, if you know she was going to get the guards to come get you, why would you go back to the location and get arrested? It seems like a bad idea for you, seeing as how now you've been arrested. Continue, please. I'll tell you. I want Arnora dead. That's right, I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need is proof is that damn amulet she always wears. Show that to me, and the money's yours. I could just tell her about what you said, and then she'll just give me the amulet. Did you think about that? Have you thought this through, Jerunder? I don't think you have. But sure, sure, I'll do this as far as you know. Finally, a chance for revenge. Yep. Well, I uh, I actually attacked a guard with a sword, so I'm actually in here for life as well. But, uh, yeah. If I 
do manage to break out of here, eh, maybe I'll help you. Hooray, I've broken free! I uh, found a crack in the wall of the prison and I slipped my way through. All right, so now why don't we go deal with our Nora? Yes, yes, let's have a little chat. Uh, Welcome back to the world, convict. <laughs> <laughs> so many things to do. So little time. You're such a jokester, having the time of your life in here, huh? So, were you able to find out about the gold or not? Jorinder said he wants your amulet. How could you stand sharing a cell with that imbecile? Uh, Jorinder had a slightly different story than what you gave us. So he told you another one of his tall tales. I hope you didn't believe him. What's he got in store for me? He sent you to kill me, is that it? Uh, actually. What if there was another way? What if he thought I was dead, but I wasn't? Then he'd tell you the location of the gold. What did he need as proof? He wanted your head. He wanted me to cut off your head and bring your head. Can I borrow your head? I, I mean your amulet. He wanted your amulet. That fetcher. He knows this is the only heirloom I have left from my family. Only he would stoop so low. Look, I know you could just kill me where I stand. But what if I gave you the amulet and you bring it to him? Then he'd say where the gold stashed. Yes. Uh, we'll do it your way. We'll do it your way. Sure, sure. I knew you'd make the smarter decision. Good. Here's the key to the chest by my bed. Inside, you'll find the amulet Jorunda wants. Oh, really? Take my amulet to him. Get the gold and bring half of it back here to me. If you don't come back, I'll let the guards in on our plan. Okay, sure. You'll be hunted all over Cyrodiil. You don't want that, do you? I don't think so. Good luck. Okay, sure, sure. Um, I don't like being threatened, though, so don't threaten me, and we'll get along a lot better. I warn you, don't cross me. By the That's gods, a Oh, I don't think she's going to betray us anytime soon. That actually fails the quest, huh? Seems like poor design on the game's part, but, uh, all right, I guess we'll continue to play along with her for a little bit longer. <laughs> Do I... Oh. Body's still warm. Uh, who Which could have done this? About. I don't know who did it. it wasn't me. It certainly wasn't me. It was definitely was... It's <laughs> all over, Fuck <Lord> you! <laughs> So in the chest is Anora's true amulet. Ah, okay. You would have thought it was the blue amulet, not this one, but uh, sure, sure, all right. Stick with the plan and everything should go smoothly. Definitely, definitely. Are you sure he didn't mean that blue amulet? Are you sure he meant the red amulet? I'm not surprised at all that he tried to have me killed. That's his way. Always the traitor and the coward. Okay, bye. Hello. Show me the proof. Here is the stolen gold. I, I mean, here's the amulet. So, she's dead, eh? <laughs> finally, finally, someone has wiped that stupid, smug grin off her face. Yep. <laughs> good, good. As far as you know, yep. Well, you did your part of the bargain. Now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma, near the north gate. Oh, okay. Goodbye. I don't expect to be seeing you anytime soon. If I were you, I'd get out of Bruma fast before the guards catch on that she's dead. Yeah, then they're going to chase me down. Wouldn't want that. Well, now that I know exactly where the gold is... No touching the locks. I think I'll just tell you right now that I didn't actually kill her. Ha 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 You have been duped, you dumb fool. Sorry. I'm too busy counting the number of rat droppings in my cell. <laughs> Fun stuff. I'll leave you to it. So we said north, so we'll obviously just go north. It was very specific when, his, when he was telling us our directions. It was to the north. I'm here for Jorunder's gold, and you're my only loose end. I've been hoping to get someone in his cell and loosen his lips, and then you showed up. He is a loudmouth, isn't he? You really should be more careful when you talk in the dungeons. The sound tends to carry. Jorunder's such an idiot. Yes. I've taken care of Anora. <laughs> she won't be around to point the finger. And Jorunder's not going anywhere for a long time. That just leaves you. You killed Arnora! Guards! Guards! She's come here! Fine. Oh wait, he's one of the guards. Uh, what do I say in this situation? You've committed a crime! Now go to jail! I've killed a corrupt guard near the stashed loot. Apparently, he's, he's dead. 
As for the gold itself, ooh, yay. We found the stash. I don't like heavy armor. It makes me feel so fat. Shut up and put it on, Vilha! So we found, ooh, yeah, some rings, uh, some books that are, eh, sure, we'll take them. Uh, ooh, 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 good stuff. Okay, there was a decent amount of loot here. Not bad, not bad. Uh, why don't we go make sure our Nora's dead and that the guy wasn't actually lying? Also, you think the guard's gonna attack me because I killed technically a guard? No, probably not. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure they'll understand. Hey, hey, uh, you... I'm trying to check out the. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'd like to go for a swim. So she is dead. That corrupt guard did actually. Okay, that's just double. You don't need to squat on her face. But yes, Arnora is dead. Good. She got what she deserved. Well, that was fun. We killed people who definitely deserved it, and uh, we got a little bit more gold. And I guess next time we're going to go talk to the Countess and see what she has for us. And then we're going to go talk to Martin and do the main quest. Or maybe we'll do a few more side quests. There are actually a lot more side quests here than I thought there were. But, uh... Oh, look, one more side quest just get added as well. <laughs> Seems like it never ends. Uh.